What's up everybody, I hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is free fresh sale CRM complete tutorial for beginners. So here we are on freshworks.com. Freshworks provides us the opportunity to work with fresh sales CRM. Today we are going to discover all the steps, how can we add contacts, create deals, manage them and so on. So in order to start with, we can just simply click on start a free trial right up here and basically we'll come to this page. Yes we can use this CRM for free. They provide us the opportunity. Of course, they have the paid plans. We'll discover them in the end of this video. But let's start with the quick tour. So here we are on our dashboard. Basically, in the left side, there is a menu where we can switch between different folders like CRM dashboards, contacts and accounts, deal management, sales conversation and automations. Also, we have like setting from this page here. We can easily manage all this stuff with our account, like uh, admin settings and so on. In the right side, there is a menu where we can manage like uh, where we can connect our email, sync contacts, add calendar, um, manage sales sequences, find email templates and so on. Also, we can manage our payment information. So on the dashboard, on the first page, basically in the menu, we can find all the stats we can easily manage. So we can find the pipeline, trend, leads generated by month. Basically every single uh, window here is customizable. So we can find a lot of uh, different stuff and also we can add a lot of different uh, like um, windows here. So basically we can switch between like activity dashboard, for example, phone dashboard. Uh, we also have like analytics with a different stuff here and the sales dashboard, which is really like interesting. It shows uh, different graphs with like contacts created over time, contacts by owner and so on. So it's pretty important to understand how does our business perform. And in order to add a report, we can just simply click on plus here and we can find all the stats, there are like a lot of different popular reports and also we can search for the report we need. For example, if we have like email campaign report, we can find all the stats right up here. So it's really, really important to understand how to deal. On the contacts and accounts area, we can easily switch between like contacts and accounts here. We can manage all the uh, um, customers we have in our database. So basically we have some in existing, we can just click on add contact or we can import contacts. So there are a lot of options from CSV or Excel, Google contacts, Outlook. Also, we can migrate from another CRM, Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoho, PopDrive. I think it's pretty cool. And in order to add a single contact, we can just simply click on this button here. And all we need to do is just to add the first name, last name and like some additional information, which is really basic as for the CRM. Then just click on save and our contact will appear right up here. So as you can see in this table, we can easily find all the important information like emails, work number, next activity, score, text and so on. Moreover, if we'll click on this contact directly here, we can find all the uh, history of interactions with this contact. We can switch between like accounts, deals and all this stuff uh, related to this specific contact, which is really important. Also, we can just send an email, make a call, send SMS, add note and so on. So basically to interact with this contact, we can just simply open these his like personal page right up here. Uh, the same way we can interact with like accounts. So we can find all the accounts right up here. Also find a lot of information. We can add them in the same way. Just simply click on add account right up here. And what is really interesting is that we can also change the view from the like table to Kanban, which is really like interesting sometimes. So to find some information, just simply click and find all the history, all the additional information and so on. On the deal management folder, we can easily find all the deals, products and quotes. So if we come to deals, uh, we can easily find all the deals and uh, they are divided into different stages. We can also switch between Kanban and a table view. But as for me, Kanban is the most suitable. And as for me, it's pretty like easy to understand, easy to work. So all the main statistics are discovered in this like information. Also, we can find the total forecasted revenue 
forecasted revenue here and so on so we have like new follow up under review demo and so on we can also add like different sections here if it's necessary or do some other stuff in order to interact with deals we can just simply add deals so just add the name deal value account name related contacts and so on and then just click on save so our deal will be successfully added here we can also like um sort uh, deals by different uh, like filters sort deal by deal value customize cards and so on also we can switch to my deals here to recent deals to, uh, sometimes it's easier to find the necessary information if it's necessary like basically as for us so this is a way of how can we interact with our deals page as you can see we can easily there is like some help how do you want to manage your pipeline today we can add a deal customize pipeline add a quote create workflow watch deals in action and so on so it's pretty like um user friendly we can find some stuff here also if I didn't even mention something in this video, you can discover it by yourself. In the sales conversation, basically we can find all the sales inbox. Firstly, we need to connect, of course, our Gmail or mail, maybe Zoho and so on. So from this page here, we can easily interact with our like customers. On the email templates, we can find a lot of templates. We can create templates and interact and so on. We can also have like phone and SMS folder. From this page, we can manage all the phone calls and SMS. On the automations, we can also create different sales sequences. For example, according to some rules or some other stuff, uh, we can create some automations. And on the settings, basically, we can find some other stats. They're more helpful if you're working in a huge team or something like this. So basically, this is the main interface of a fresh sales CRM. I hope everything was pretty clear as for you. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. And if you're going to discover the paid plans, so we can find that uh, we can use this CRM free for up to three users in one account. So it's pretty cool if you have like a small company. But if you want to grow, uh, we can easily uh, buy the paid plan growth pro or enterprise $15, 39, 69 if you're paying annually or 18, 47 and 83 if you're going to pay monthly. So all the differences discovered in these uh, like uh, spreadsheet here on the pricing page but what is cool is that we can really try to use fresh sales for free um, while we have a small business so this is the way basically about all the information about fresh sales crm all you need to do now is just to start it like as you as a beginner so i hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye